Hello, and welcome back to Painful Plays. It's part eight, Pokemon Heart Gold, Soul Silver, Randomizer. I'm just doing a playthrough, but well, welcome back. Sorry I've been gone for so long, guys. Got kind of sick. Took some time off. Today, we're gonna try and continue back on our adventure. We're gonna wade through Goldenrod and uh, capture more Pokemon. Last time, we went, we did the, uh, the breeder, and we had that ripe here issue, and then Max muted my mic. Hopefully today, we fix that problem. Alright, let's get started. Oh. I have an idea. I'll give you our numbers. Then you can check on your Pokemon we raised for you. Robert man registered the daycare man in the Pokegear. Registered the daycare lady in the Pokegear. So this helps us for breeding purposes later on. Happy to have it used for the Pokegear. And grandchild, yada yada yada. So we're heading towards Goldenrod. I believe... No, we didn't clear out the entire thing. So, we're running to a trainer. I'm confident my ability to raise Pokemon want to see. Like I said, last time we were into the Rhyperior. Strong Pokemon, pain in my butt. La and if I remember correctly, our team is wounded. And under level. Um... Alright, Ninjask isn't going to cut it this time through. Um, my Lodic might be my best bet. Foresight, so a foresaw an attack. Oh no, I identified good. Um, let's use Water Pulse. Sure it's not the strongest move I have, but... It's been a minute since I've played. In that time, I have... A lot of things have happened. I started my other job. Uh, it's been a wild summer. We did all of summer school, working through that. And I, uh, I started a new job. That, or I at least I applied for a new job and I got accepted and I'm very excited to start my new role moving into the fall. Um, having said that, you know, it's going to free me up to do more things like this. Back to my creative stuff. Things I like to do. Alright, Ninja Ask, level 12. Good. Gonna need that level up. Cool, we defeated Todd. We really could use a heal. I don't need his phone number. No, I don't want it. Let's go up here. At last, we have arrived at Goldenrod City, where we can heal, and we can explore a little bit. Now, it's been, I, as a kid, I never played through Heart Gold or Soul Silver. I only played the original red, um, Gold, Silver, and Crystal. So this is new to me. And I haven't played in over a month, so we're gonna try and get ourselves back into a pattern here. Um, we're gonna try and put games up on, let's see. Oh man, that's a glitch. So what we're going to do to fix that, we're going to just try and go in and out. Because sometimes these things happen, where the game glitches out. Did it break? It did, it did break. Alright, so what we're going to do... We are going to, if I can get to it... We're going to just save really quick. We're going to overwrite the file. Hopefully the whole ROM didn't just explode, because that would be really upsetting, and I don't know if I would continue. Alright. Let's restart the entire thing. These things do happen. Sometimes you just gotta work with them. Spent a lot of time improv More time than I'm willing to admit. Oh, the Ho-Oh Sprite. I love that. This is the games, or these are the games they started doing this with. Cool. Fixed it. Problem solved. Sometimes that happens. Alright, let's go... What's this? Goldenrod Game Corner? Okay. Is the radio tower over here? Oh, I hear a cat. What are you? That's a tunnel I don't think we have access to for now. Is the... Is this the gym? Or is this... Oh no, this is the Pokemart. Let's see... This. That's the Magnet Train, which means... Oh man, so that's Radio Tower. That's Team Rocket. Alrighty. What do we have over here? Global Terminal. Okay, so this is like when they did... BTS stuff. Okay. Like I said, a lot is different in this game. 
A lot of little nooks and crannies to go into. The bike shop is over here, I believe. Do we get the bike right here? That would be cool. Nice and let's see, your Pokemon's quite cute. That's why my Pokemon don't like me as much. Hmm. Let's put my Magmortar at the top really quick. I mean, we could go take on the gym today. Yeah, that's just cute. Alright, so nothing there right now. Could be something later. This isn't the gym, is it? No, it's the bike shop. Well, let's check it out. Maybe we get a bike. Why is that? Could you ride a bicycle for me? Yes! Well, loan me a bike. Now, we have gained some speed. Let's go into our bag. Where is our bag? I mean, where is it? We have enough Pokeballs. We're gonna register that as our thing. I say we go up and we check out the next route just to get it. Well, <clears throat> we want to make sure we've explored all of Goldenrod. Goldenrod's pretty cool. There's a lot here. And this is episode's going to be more informative than it is, like, um, progressive. Welcome to Goldenrod Department Store. Um, are there... What does he say? Department Store has a decent selection. Game items are only available for Game Corner prizes. Yes. Alright, what do you guys have on the first, or second floor? You have potions. Okay, and healing. Oh, talk to this person. What do I need? Is this mail? Nope, it's Pokeballs. Ultra Balls. Interesting. Obviously, I can't buy much right now, guys. Oh, wait, is there a sign that says, like, what everything is? Trainer's Market, okay. So it says it right on the side. So that's like training items, like battling items. What is this one? Battle Collection. So like, I imagine this is things like X Attack. Yeah. X Attack, X Speed. We'll go up the next level. I want to say the next level is going to be TMs. <clears throat> uh, medicine Box. So this is probably where like their specialized like Poison Heals. Oh no, Proteins. <clears throat> so if you have the money, you can boost your stats, the, your base stats. But you can also do that just by battling. It's not really something we're interested in here in the randomizer, but in the competitive world, it's very useful. Um, is this the TM one? Yeah, TM Corner, which we can't really buy anything. We won't have the money. It's over a thousand for the cheapest one. And then, what's this last one? The Rooftop Atrium. Welcome to the Daily Drawer. You can try it for 300. We have wonderful prizes. Why not? Please draw one. You got yourself the number three prize. Take it. We got a person berry. Okay. And that's all of the department store. They do different things. They have different fun stuff. Oh, it's talking to the lady to go down. We want to go down to the... Oh, there's a basement. We want to go to the first floor. Because there is a basement, it's not helpful right now, it's all locked off. Doo doo. And it's only accessible via the elevator. Alright, so there's that. Let's see if we can't find the gym. The gym? I forget where the gym might be. It's not over there. Oh, her son Bill is in charge of the, the game corner. Okay. Maybe I have to go through here? Oh. Hey, there they are. Hi, Rado, you're just in time. This is gonna be a battle. When you follow this tunnel, you'll see a dress-up shop. That's where you can your Pokemon can put accessories and dress up, take pictures. By the way, there's a fashion case. A uh, present from you, fashion case. Sweet, so okay, that's how you get the fashion case. You can make Pokemon happier if they evolve with happiness. It's a mechanic introduced in the original version of 
heart um, of gold, silver, and crystal. Oh, and there's a bunch of battles down here. So we'll get through a few battles, and we'll go from there. Oh, I love the super nerd Eric. Magmortar. Should I be leveling up this Magmortar further? Probably not, but... Honestly, it, it doesn't really matter at this stage. I need to get levels, I need to be strong enough, yeah. Keep battling, I need to beat up on... I, I don't know if Ninjask is gonna stay with us long term. I also know, am aware that we only have five Pokemon at this point. We do have an egg. It's completely randomized. It's exciting to see what that could be. And with that, Nerd Eric goes down. Next battle. Got my, my Pokemon got a haircut. I'll show you how strong it is. Of course you will. Got to make sure your Pokemon are strong. A Rhydon. Not lying about that. That is strong. Alright, so we'll go into Pokemon. We're going to go to Milotic. Uh, we really should level up Rhyperior. Yeah. Rhyperior is going to be a a very powerful member of our team when we finally get to use him. He's only level 10 right now. Alright. So let's go Water Pulse. And like I said, I apologize for my hiatus there. I, uh, I got very sick. Um, I ended up with a double ear infection and I ruptured both eardrums. Quite painful. I mean, it happens, I guess. <laughs> But in spite of all that, I was able to go on a few adventures, and I was able to start, you know, apply for this new role and get into this new role. And so it starts in a few weeks, and it's really something I've wanted to do my entire life, where I get to help people and, and help them achieve the things they want to do. Alright, so this is a perfect trainer for Ripe here, because it's lower leveled. This game has a, an awful habit of where, the, where everything levels off. Alright, Rock Polish. Alrighty. Let's see. We want to go... Wow, he has only normal moves. Alright, we're going to go Stomp. I didn't even look to see what his item was, I don't think. I'm going to have to double check that. Oh, perfect. Oh, that's a crit. <laughs> well, Golem's going to be a lot of experience because it's a third level evolution. This is going to take a couple of seconds. What does Horn Attack do? This is just me trying to figure out what I have. Okay, so not very effective. Everything's going to not be very effective because these are ground and rock types. Against normal. So, normal's not going to do anything to any of these Pokemon. Rhyperior is super defensive, though, which will be really helpful in this gym. Though, now that I'm thinking about it, the um, gym leader won't have her normal Pokemon. Normally she's got a mill tank that is incredibly tough to deal with. Oh, this is a little more powerful Pokemon. Alright. Alrighty. Oh, I got a flinch. That's a, that's one of the reasons I was using Snap, is for the flinch. Alright. So Pokemon, admittedly, not always the most action-packed kind of game. I'm going to try my best to get Batman going again. Um, But I've got I've to gotta relook at it and figure out exactly where I was. Look at that attack and defense. It's so high. In Jazz, we're gonna keep battling. These are all like Pokemon that'll give out good levels too, so. And I'm not saying Rhyperior is gonna be my ace, because I've got a Milotic and Magmortar's pretty powerful. But Rhyperior, my team is coming together very nicely. Bayleaf is gonna be good in the long run too. So. Like I have a whole team I'm working on here. Oh, that healing matters. It really did that time. Oh, goodness. I've been so tired lately. I started playing Pokemon Sleep, and uh, turns out I'm not sleeping well at all. Which does track. Sleep apnea does that to people. Jesus, I've already used 11 stomps. <laughs> there we go. Torchic has rough skin in this game? Interesting. Alright, let's... Oh, let's make an adjustment here. 
We want to move right here. Up to here. We want to get it a couple levels if we can. And we'll have cleared out the basement after this battle. And then we're going to go find the gym. And that will be the end of the episode. But we got to find the gym first. And we have no idea where it is. This, round, this time around we got a ferret. Ferret is a... Uh, well, it's this game's Rattata. Pretty weak. Not very powerful. Um, but, you know, we need cannon fodder to just level up our Pokemon right now. Is Fury Attack going to be worth more? Right now? Oh, it identified me again. Oh, this is going to be rough. <laughs> I mean, if I get five, it's... Oh, I only got three. Alright, well, I guess Stomp's the way to go. So I'm a little more powerful. I wonder if I have any TMs I can teach it to make this right here a little better. Probably after this battle. Oh, it's using defense up stuff too. Mm. That's okay. <coughs> goodness. And, oh, goodness. Alright, one more. It's gonna take all 20 of my stops to get through these trainers. Up here, just stomping around. There we go, another level. All the way up to 12. Big time stats there. Bronzor. In the interest of time... Oh, I wanted to switch out. Oops. Well, we'll get through this, and then we're gonna move... We're gonna look for the gym. Oh! Of course it's gonna put me to sleep. That would make life too easy. We're not going to play this game. We're going to switch right out to Night Mortar. Night Mortar is going to one-shot this thing. Alright, there's Tackle. We're going to do two damage. We're going to hit it with Fire or Ember. It should one-shot it. Yep. And then 84 points to each. That's the end of Pokemaniac Donald. 704 coins. Sweet. Alright, and up we go. And out we go. Oh, that right here straight behind is so cool. Alright, there's that tent. And the gym is right here. Ah, uh, what? Jim Mayor Whitney went flying by saying, I have to, I have got to get a radio card. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna run right back up really quick to the radio tower and go get us a radio card. Guess we're not stopping at the gym. Alright, is this the... I'm Felicity, your attendant today. If I draw on your number machine, any Pokemon, you could win. Fabulous gifts. Yeah, let's do lucky number today. Uh, check your lucky number. Today's number is 02035. <sighs> and it doesn't match any of my Pokemon. Alright. Uh, alright. Answer five questions correctly in the row to win the radio card. When you load it into the Poke Gear, you'll be able to listen to the radio. Anytime, anywhere. Would you like to try the quiz? Yes. Some I remember right, there's a trick one. You can check your town map book here. Yes, I believe you can. Second question. Nidorina can only be female. That is true. Heard the Pobal Crater uses Apric... No, uses Apricorns. Fourth question. It's impossible to teach a TM on Magikarp. I believe that's true. Only one more to go. In Professor... No, it's Mary. M A R. Why? Cool, we got the radio card. We can now listen to the radio of the Poke Gear. And. Whitney. Wow, you did it! I thought the answer to the third question was surely apricots. Oops, time to get back to the gym. So that was Whitney. In a normal playthrough, Whitney is something I've run into in the past that absolutely is brutal to me. She usually beats me down pretty good. We're gonna heal up really quick. Um, I just want to thank everyone that's kind of hung out, like stuck with me these last few months. Um, I've, I've been trying to upload more and more card opening videos. As you can tell, my hunt for the uh, for any Charizard in the Pogo set has not gone well. I still have, oh man, I've opened so many packs. Um, but we'll continue on with that. I mean, the hunt is the hunt. We're gonna keep going forever, I guess. Having said that, on the next episode, we're going to go in and we're going to take on Whitney. And hopefully we win. Who knows what she has. 
But I want to thank everyone for staying by. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And uh, leave me some feedback on, you know, these kind of videos. What you want to see. If you enjoy me playing them or not. And uh, I want you guys all to have a great day. And, uh, you know, go get after it a little bit. Bye, everyone.